All right, so this is video number two, and uh, I have got the chassis prepped and ready to uh, put the front suspension on. I found some cool springs that went to a uh, lowrider Impala that I had built in the past few years, and also uh, some. Um, backs to the rims for the factory version of the Impala and so I'm going to use those as wheel spacers to space the wheels out so this is going on the front suspension I did have to take the sway bar off of the front end so that I could properly trim down the spring mounts so that this would fit with uh, normally they have little tips on them that they just plug right into the holes but since I'm modifying this and I already had cool springs then I had to shave everything down so that would fit so what we're going to do first is we are going to glue these to the existing cool springs and I'll make sure that's straight in just a second. Make sure they're turned the right way because they're both made like they have a slight slant on them which I've trimmed but I want to still make sure that they connect to the front suspension properly all right so as you see I've modified the front springs so that when I put the the rest of the front suspension on it will give it the angle that I'm looking for. So I'm going to put some glue here. Now you'll notice as I build these models, I am not a professional at any of this, but I do my best. And as I learn new tips and tricks, I will implement those in my builds. And as you see, you know, having a problem getting this thing on here. Just got to make sure I get it mounted right. And that's the whole trick of it right there. Just to make sure that you get it mounted right where the cold springs would have went. I just gotta hold it down for a second. Once I make sure I got it squared up. Just needs a little adjusting here. Let's see. There we go. Let me check this one. Make sure I got this one squared. Now, definitely aren't, I'm not going to be able to mount the wheels to these tonight. That's when I have to dry uh, overnight, probably 24 hours. Just to make sure that it's good and solid. But as you also see, the um, distance between where the control arms would usually touch the frame, I'm going to have to put uh, something there to modify that so that that touches like it's supposed to. And so the, the backs touch also. So that's how that's going to be. And then these, I've already painted the 
P the front side of my spacers, which is going to go like this, and I'll paint the back side after I get it glued, which I will do off camera. So all of these are the same. And I'm just going to press them on, and then I'll make sure that they're they're flush. Just trying to stick to my finger. It's got some glue on it already. And this putting these spacers on, it's going to kick the wheels out a little bit, just like it would be on a truck that has the California. The Cali lean on it or the Carolina squat. So let's just make sure that that's pressed on and, and even. So make some custom wheel spacers here. Make sure that that's square so that it's not when I go to glue it. It's not offset and all wonky. Let's see, that one's a little wonky. There we go. I failed it. There we go. That's square. So now all I'm going to do is go back and paint the rest of these spacers black. And then once they've had time to really dry, and this has had time to dry i'll be able to mount that and i'm not going to put it on right now but i'll be able to mount it and you'll see that the wheel is going to stick out just like it should on the carolina squat and then i'll remount the sway bar and then we'll get to uh, any other modifications that need to be made to make sure that it has the Carolina squat going on. Then I will finish up all the other basic stuff, painting and interior and exterior um, components that need to go on it. One of the big things to make sure with this kit, if you ended up trying to do the Carolina squat, is that you'll see Right here, this is the disc brake with caliper. It's supposed to go on the axle shaft first. Well, doing this kind of mod to it, you actually have to put it on the rim. Then put your spacer. Then you'll be able to slide this on. And of course, since this is not the correct size, it's really close, but it's not the exact size. The wheels will have to be glued in place. And that's it for today. Um, I will get this painted after it dries and, uh, I will find some stuff to connect the, uh, sway bars, not sway bars, the, um, control arms. And, uh, we will show that getting glued in place and, uh, we'll have the wheels put in place and painted and see what the next modification is. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like and subscribe to the video and the channel and I uh, hope you guys have a great day